Hello everybody, Sifter again with another Astronauts run. So today I would like to try Corruption 20 with the Fallen and the Druid as a healer. I mean I will pick my best team here just because it's Corruption 20. Let's get the mega buff of every stat here. Let's go to the top bottom because it's supposed to be the easiest. I'm keeping this group together. I don't care that he does damage to all. It's just a bit of burn, it won't matter. It's more important that the Fallen does not actually drain life from the Druid. Come on team, nice. What do we have here? While not at max HP, your attacks remove a random bleed effect from your target to heal from the remaining bleed. We do not have bleed, we have a bit of bleed from the Fallen. Okay, and how much bleed can he do? 37, so that would heal sometimes 37. Sometimes. Otherwise, we can just get the chance to bleed, to the chance to, to crit. Let's go with the Blood Drinker. Maybe it does something. Um, yeah, let's go. The idea here is that the Fallen intercepts damage for the Druid. Let me go, let me float over the passive. So in every single video, like in the last five videos, I'm explaining every character what he does. And I mean, I th I can just float. I, I will float over the passive and the active for just a minute. We've got a lot of safeguard here. So everybody can just, I guess, pause the video, see what it does, the character does. So as you can see, defense and healing. Uh, what's the next fight? The next fight's a normal fight. I would like to... Should I fight this? I think it's too hard for us. That's the Druid. And that's the Fallen. I keep the group together. In my opinion, right now it should... Better is together. It's better to be together, even if the enemy bleeds. And that's the Fallen here, if you want to pause. And let's go back to the fight. The Fallen will even die before the... Nice, very nice. We got the Growing Sapling. Uh, otherwise I can get the Defensive Gauntlet. Maybe the Defense Gauntlet is a better idea for the Druid. These are both very good, but ten more, 5 more defense and a passive, while this is 5 more... 5 less defense, but a, a piece of the... Yeah, let's uh, let's go for the Gauntlet here. No reason to overcomplicate things. I will not go to shop. I still need more items. Okay, let's drop the nut first. This time though, I'm not sure it's a good idea to have everybody together. Although on the other hand, the Fallen will definitely go down. Let's maybe give everything to the Fallen. I hope he heals himself. No. Let's keep the group together and hope that the poison does not destroy us. Come on, we can do this. Although we didn't actually... Now, yeah, we should not be able to do this. It was a mistake to have everybody together. I should remember that from that mushroom. It, it's okay, three moral, not really that important. This time, though, we m should have everybody together. The druid should be healing himself as well. Okay, this, this fight should be easy with a healer on our team, because whenever our hero attacks, he gains mana and heals himself. So I don't see the enemy destroying us here. Yeah, at this point we are healing a lot. Very nice. We got a tower shield, which is actually a good item for the druid. Uh, so I think I will go for the tower shield here. Give the blood drinker over to the fallen. Uh, no, I will switch some other things around too. You know what? I still don't have money for the shop. Let's continue with the fights. Passive. I think Druid is the better choice here. 80 frail defense. The other choice would be 10% more damage goes over to the fallen. Uh, although I think this might be better. 
No, this will just uh, split the damage more, while this will straight up make the druid take less damage for a bit. And I will give this over here and this over here. So that he has even more defense and HP, while the lover safeguard will just give both a bit of defense. A bit of uh, shielding. 200 piercing. I cannot kill the backline with the 200 piercing. But I can remove the burn right away. Nice, I removed the burn from the fallen here. Just to be sure. The Druid has so many negates that he is not getting any debuffs. Okay, this is a win now. Very nice. We got the Mana Spring Amulet. I think it's a good idea to put on the Druid. Although the Hero Sigil is also too awesome too. But Generating Core. I like it if we had a Fiend. But, uh, but we don't. So let's get the Mana Spring Amulet. And let's go on. Uh, I think we should go top. Mi middle has like four wolves or something crazy. Nice. Destroy the small guy first. Let's give this over to them. Yeah, I'm giving this to the Fallen because he does damage as well as buff the team a bunch. And the Druid just needs to survive. This will not give that many castings that it's worth it. It will give more castings, but not enough for it to be worth it. Nice buy. Come on, we can do this. Nice, we didn't even lose moral. Okay, we got the conversion road. Your active ability redirects a random enemy targeting an ally to you. This is a very nice item here. Uh, maybe not with this team, obviously not Phylactory. Uh This does nothing. I like the conversion road. I I really like this item. Let's take the conversion road. And let's go top. Maybe instead of the blood drinker I can go with the conversion road. Definitely not in this fight. Yeah, not in this fight. Uh, let's go. Yeah, this is an easy win. I'm pretty sure of it. Very nice. And this should also be a win. I mean, this is just a straight up worse version than the other thing. Okay. And I don't think I want any of these. Maybe, actually, you know what? I will take the freeze everybody instead of the blood drinker. Does the blood drinker even do anything? Ooh. Wait, he healed more? Oh, it's the shielding. Oh, you see here that how crazy the lover safeguard is. But I think the blood... I'm not sure about the blood drinker. I'm definitely not sure about the blood drinker. Let's take the Fenris Bane so that at least we have something for the next ally that comes along. Active, obviously, to the Druid. We need more healing here, for sure. Let's hope the Druid survives this. Maybe... Yeah, I should... Uh, yeah, I will use the Fenris Bane instead of the Man Spring Amulet. Three buffs, I don't think is that crazy of a thing. Okay, the Druid's most likely going down here. Although he's still surviving this. If we drop the top before he casts, nice. One cast from him won't do that much. Very nice. Let's switch this around. Uh, another tower shield. I think another tower shield is worth it here for the Druid. Instead of the defense gauntlet. 50 and 10 or... 75 and 30. I will go for another tower shield. Let's go over to the shop. This time we have money. We got a scourge. I think I should pick up the scourge just to make the run easier. Definitely instead of the blood drinker here. Let's get the scourge. And let's sell the blood drinker. Let's sell the carrion rod. I'm keeping this for whatever we pick next. So let's upgrade the Scourge, just to have an easier life here. And then I should start upgrading the Tower Shields. Let's go for the Elite. You see, I can win this fight now that I have a Scourge. 
Uh, I don't care. Let's go. If the scourge hits them for the for the poison or the silence, we are okay. I think it hit them for the poison here. Uh oh. Uh oh. We lost. Yep. I should have split the team out. I don't know why I'm always risking this fight. I do not know why I'm always risking this fight. I think I should go for the whirling axe on the on the fallen. No, let's stop taking items here for now. Let's go for the elite. The elite should be a window. Okay, and this time I will split them up. And who should tank? Should the fallen tank? With his 5% healing, is it even enough? I'm not sure it is. You see, on the one hand, I don't think it's 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 a smart idea to split the team up. Although we both will get poisoned. Come on, just silence him. Actually, we bled him twice. He should be done now with two bleeds from the scourge. We should out DPS him heavily. Three bleeds, three poisons, four poisons from the scourge. Yeah, see you. Maybe should not have upgraded the scourge right away. Okay, HP regen. Uh, I think now it's time. Yeah, now it's time for the Fallen to stand alone. And give him this. Receive an upgraded item. All heroes bleed. Bleed? Yeah. Very smart idea. And just get the attack speed for the boss. I would like to get the upgraded item, but not like this. So, let's let the Fallen tank here. Passive orb. How long do I have this passive orb? I think from the last fight. Let's give it to the Fallen, so he heals 20% of his max HP. While the Druid will be healing himself. Uh, I don't think the these are needed anymore. I think they should be fine. I don't see the Fallen going down here. The Druid will heal himself, while the Fallen will also heal himself. So yeah, that's the plan. As you see, the Fallen is doing a lot of damage to the Druid because of the chain heal, but the Druid should start healing himself faster by the minute. Come on, Fallen, you can survive this. Nope, that was too late, that was too late, but the bleeds from the... The bleeds from the Scourge will carry us. I should have drunk the potion a bit earlier just to preserve some moral. It's okay. I'm doing some timing mistakes. But right now with 60 moral we are going very nicely here. Helm of the Mad King I think is a very good item for a fallen tank. So let's go with that. And we will switch out the... We'll see what we will switch out. The Fallen will be the main tank here, so it will most likely look something like that. Tank and DPS. Actually, zero tanking, no defense. Only HP regen. Anyway, let's see what we pick up here. I was thinking about the Juggernaut. To make the Juggernaut a tank, bring the Druid back. The passive I put on the Druid might have been a mistake. But still, I think Juggernaut here for a main tank. Revert the Druid back to healer mode. Yeah, I think that's, this looks pretty decent. Let's give this over to him. You get all the defensive stuff. And give the frost over here. Yeah, that looks nice. What can we get? Can we get healing? No shielding. Eh. Elites have less. Let's go for the elites are easier. And let's go to the top, because it's a more of a controllable fight. I think I should go for the Fallen here again. And in this fight, I don't even need the Fallen to tank anything. The, the Juggernaut can do the tanking. So this will do nothing, pretty much. There's no reason to do this. Let's just play it normally here. Let's do it like that, and let's start. I don't think the Fallen will get one shot. I mean, he attacks once and then does nothing. Yep, he lost half his HP and now he will start healing.
Very nice. Uh, Onions guard. I'm not sure about it. I can give the Onions guard to the Fallen instead of the Jules Requiem, but the Requiem heals him a bunch. Instead of the Helm of the Mad King? I mean, I don't have anything. No, then the, the Scourge will not be really useful. I think it's, let's get just the money. And let's continue top. This should be the double dark, the double tiger fight. Okay, I think this time I should have the fallen as a support so that he intercepts some damage from the juggernaut. And this will not do anything practically. So I think this is a good setup here. This does also nothing, but might as well equip it. Right? Let's go. As long as the Druid is casting and healing the Juggernaut, he should be able to survive. If we drop one of the two Tigers, then he will survive for sure. Yeah, now he should survive. Very nice. We got the Growling Sapling. Some of the heals become barriers. I think it's better than the Defense Gauntlet, at least. Actually, you know what? Let's get this to give it to the Druid. Let's go for the event. There's no reason to split up the team just because I got Jules Requiem. Let's roll for the best. Nice. Another Mana Spring. Very nice. Let's go for the event. Let's give this over here. But on the defense. Do we have this? Do, do we got this? I think we got this. But do I need them? Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Risk away. Risk away. I think he will get damaged for a bunch, so this defense gauntlet will actually activate very often. So in my opinion, it's better than a tower shield, because he will get damaged for a bunch. So let's go. I will also try to drink the mana potion right before they cast. Okay, the Fallen is already losing too much. I I am not sure we got this. I'm not sure we got this. Let's drop this early. Nice, nice. Fallen will go down. Okay, maybe not. He's attacking randomly. Did you poison him? He got poisoned once. There is hope here. Nice, it was worth it. Definitely worth it. We got two good items here. Definitely worth it. Let's go for the elite. So now I can just straight up put this to the Fallen. Yeah, and now he's just a tank. He became a tank with just one item. Very nice. Do we buff at all? No, we don't buff at all. So I think this is good to go. Yep. I'm sticking to the Juggernaut as a tank. Yeah, the enemy isn't doing enough damage to trigger the defense gauntlet. Sometimes he is, I guess. Stolen, what did he steal? Wait, can he steal protected things? What's happening here? I thought that was impossible. Since when can he steal... Since when can he steal protected things? Okay, I guess. Okay, game. If you have no interest in allies at the start of combat, summon a spirit wolf with 30% of your attack and defense. Um, you know what? I can give this to the Fallen when I have him in the sidelines. Instead of the Helm of the Mad King, I guess. Is it even worth it? He doesn't even have crazy stats. I mean, I can. I might do it. I want to go to the Elite on the bottom, so let's go. Active. Obviously, the Druid for more healing. I think the Juggernaut can tank here. The good thing is whenever the enemies cast, the druids cast right away again. Because as you see, when they use their MP, nice, he got silenced. Yep, bye. Scourges, very nice. If your target has a bleed and a poison, we don't 
Uh, you have 20% chance near us damage equal to each of white. Wait, wait, wait. A 20% chan chance to deal additional damage equal to the damage of each poison affecting your target. Ah, eh, this might proc sometimes. So, no. I already have two amulets. Let's just get the gold. Let's go for the elite. The juggernaut should survive this. I think. Yeah, the juggernaut should survive this. The fallen should help him out as well. Maybe the Helm of the Mad King on the Fallen is not a good idea. But I think it gets procced sometimes. Wait. Oh, it gets procced every... Ooh, this is like... Ooh, this is a crazy combo. I just realized this. Helm of the Mad King is like the best item for the Fallen. Because he intercepts the damage and it triggers it. He's, he almost survived. And now we will lose the Fallen as well. Yep, and now we will lose this fight. Because... We, yeah, we lost. We lost this fight. It's a loss. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. Let's continue on the events. We have a bunch of gold. Very nice. Random item. Well, that's why you don't pick so many items up. But there's a good chance we get something we want. You see, I said so. And let's go again. You see, I said so. <laughs> It was a fake out. It still happened. Still worth it. Let's go for the holy water. Let's go for top. Okay, this should be a win. If we're not very unlucky. Can you please? Nice. I want him to hit like the druid one or two times. Look at him go. Look at him go. Very nice. Look at this crazy combo. I really like this combo here. Every four times you attack, you and a random magician ally gain a gate. I can use this instead of this. Or actually instead of the defense gauntlet. Yeah, let's just use this instead of the defense gauntlet. And let's go sell some things. Like everything. I wanted to use the pug medallion, but... Well, ooh, we got a symbiote. So, off with you, off with you, off with you for sure, you are also done, you also, these two things I might use on whatever I pick up next, but the sure thing is I'm getting a symbiote instead of this frost thing, and let's just sell the, let's sell the mana, and let's upgrade the symbiote in my opinion, what is this, no, let's upgrade the symbiote. And let's go on. Elite. Okay, we should be able to beat this. As long as we get about... If, if we get some negates, we should be able to do this. Because the hard part from... The bad thing for him is that he stuns. He will actually blow the Fallen up. Come on, Fallen, you can do this. 400 damage. Survive, man. He survived. Nice. And now the Druid's off casting. Yep, now nobody's dying. This is a win. Very nice. We got another symbiote. <laughs> but you know what? We can actually get the charging pylon and give it to nobody. We can give it to... Do we care? Do we need this? I can just get another symbiote. Yeah, let's just get another symbiote here. I know the charging pylon is broken, but... The, the, the Fallen already gets the attack speed that he cares about, and the Druid doesn't care about the attack speed, and the Juggernaut doesn't care either. So let's just get the Symbiote for the Druid, and let's go on. Instead of that, no, I like this man again. Uh, passive, yeah, Juggernaut time. Yeah, let's go. So the idea here is that when the enemies start casting, yeah, exactly. The druid will cast like five times in a row. And then he will have his... Oh, he got destroyed. He got destroyed. We got the Saints Vow. Should I go for a Blood Mage last? I can go for a Blood Mage last. And then have like the druid here in the front. Like the second off tank or something. Because I already got him the passive. I think Blood Mage will be my last pick. Let's pick this up just so we have options. And we will see what we'll pick last. I'm still thinking about it. Okay. 
This uh, seems a bit dangerous. You know what? You tank. No, I can't protect him. Yeah, this uh, this might blow us up here. Can I maybe... Yeah, that's like the best choice here. He will survive. Nothing could go possibly go wrong. I think we will go down here hard, but let's hope for the best. Let's use the burn. I will not use the divine just to save some morale. Yep, he's down. He's down. He's so down. No, no questions asked. Yep. Come on. Off you go, Fallen. Poison everybody. Silence everybody. Let's go. Nice. We lost just one moral. Uh, Odd Bean. Instead of the Noble Ward. Like a second chance. 50 HP and 10 defense. No. No, 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 no. I don't need the second life. I just need more survivability. This 10 defense and the 2 negate will help us. Okay, the last time this was also almost a loss. Let's see how this goes this time. Now that we have better items. No, 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 no. He silenced him the second I did it. Okay, it's okay. We won. We won. Nice. No, he had split him up. It's okay. The Fallen. Look at the Fallen go. These two items. These two items. Very nice. Ooh, what is this? At the start of combat and every 5 seconds cause 6 random enemies to blade for 30% attack damage. Most of the time there aren't 6 random enemies on the map, so... <laughs> this uh, really looks awesome. And it's even upgraded. This should be a bunch of damage. I will, I will try this. Okay. I will try this. And I can even combine it with a scimitar so it does a bunch of damage. The other choice would be to give a reverberating bulwark over to the juggernaut, which is also very strong. Actually, I think the reverberating bulwark will do more. Okay. I I'm pretty sure it will do more. But let's just take the bleed and just try it out. And if it's not good, it's okay. It's okay if it's not good. Okay, I will most likely have everybody over here at the same place. So I will give this active orb to the Fallen. But what should I pick for the last pick? I could either go with the Assassin and like hide him here. And then every every damage goes to Juggernaut. Or get the Blood Mage, bring the Fallen in front. And then I have like two healers to protect the team. Okay, let's, let's think about it. If I get a passive orb... I give it fir first password to Juggernaut and second password to Druid and then we're done. Password on Assassin, meh. Password on Blood Mage, awesome. If I get an active orb, it's going Fallen, no questions asked. So I got an active orb, which is going to the Fallen, for sure. Uh, it won't go to either Blood Mage or Assassin. I think I should go for the Assassin. Uh, for the Blood Mage. Because the Fallen at some point will destroy the enemies anyway. Yeah, let's go for the Blood Mage. Um, because he will heal with passive orbs and I just need one, two passive orbs and we are okay. Then we also have the Saint's Vow here. Yeah, I think that's the choice here. So let's do that. My humble opinion. The other choice would be the Alchemist. Oh, wait a second. I can go Alchemist. Yeah, I can go Alchemist. He also is a person who needs buffs. And he will duplicate the poisons of the uh, Scourge. So yeah, let's go with this. I think that's a better idea. And let's go active on the Fallen. So the team gets buffs. Let's get... no longer Enemies no longer found in events. So that we chase down the Interstellar. We got a pretty okay-ish path for interstellar like this so let's hope we get it early i am actually reliant on healing so let's go to the bottom let's go to the top i guess i don't even know where i'm going so doesn't matter who is where let's just make him the second target let's give him some symbiote how much yeah let's give him the scimitar like for sure and let's also give him the burn thing 
And let's hope for the best. Oh, the burn went off to the cleansing thing. Come on, Juggernaut, you can survive this. Very nice. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> the the Zilla's Tempest. Pew, pew. Okay, the Alchemist is very high on the damage scale here. Uh, nothing. Thank you very much. Let's go again top. So that was the cleansing shrine. Wait. Every fight has the cleansing shrine? What's going on here? Pew, pew, pew. Come on, you can survive this team. Nice. The Fallen is off to the races. Very nice. Very nice. Your active ability removes up to... Six random poison or bleed effects for from allies or enemies. Your attacks deal 10 additional damage for each removed effect. No. <laughs> I mean, it will remove every poison that's like 50 poison, so no. Let's go on here. I like the Noble Ward because it gives him the gate, so I don't care about... He's pretty much a tank buffer with because it gives him the gates and also has the gates. Let's get the Interstellar here. It's top, bottom. Interstellar. Boom. Pa, 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 pa. Got it. <laughs> That's how we roll. <laughs> Interstellar is the way to go. So, I will go for defense as always because, first of all, the Fallen will not get affected at all because the Regalia keeps it him safe and the Juggernaut will get more than enough from these things. The, the Alchemist and the Druid, we don't care about their defenses, so let's just go. This should be a win now. I mean, look at this. Helm of the Mad King, 12%. Yeah, it's a win. Let's go. Pew, pew, pew. What is this now? Nine random enemies. And the Druid's off. Healing everybody, buffing everybody. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> this is so fun that, my, that it makes that sound. Uh, charging pylon, of course not. Every five seconds, remove up to two burn, random burn effects from allies or enemies and gain shield equal to one and a half times the damage effect. Ooh, I can't pick this up instead of the Noble Ward. So I remove the burns from the Zilla's Tempest. Because if you see, it doesn't really do that much damage. But it will actually give a bunch of shielding. It should give one and a half times two of uh, 32 so it should give a shield of about a hundred every five seconds is that even worth it it doesn't really sound worth it it's definitely not 20 defense let's let's just try it okay I, I will try it for just one fight this will not be a fight i will not use it on the elite that's coming up i'm not trying things on elites let's get the puzzle box let's get the puzzle box let's get the puzzle box let's get damage and go on Yeah, it's too risky. I'm sorry, it's too risky. I think I should even skip the elite with what I just did. But I think we got this. Our team is pretty strong. And the Fallen is right. Did we lose? Oh, we already lost people here. No, that, uh, no, no, no. I almost had this. I almost had this. No. You see, everybody would be alive now. If I just had drunk the potion faster. Uh, do I have a bunch of defense? I think I do not. No, nope, let's skip. He has minus five. Wow. Let's go for the normal battle. Active. As I said, fallen again for the buffs. At this fight, I would like to try it though. Let's try this thing. Does it even work? Hello? Okay, let's remove it. <laughs> Skip burn immune for 15 defense. Why we don't care about burn immunity because we have like start with four negates. Um I you know what? I'm going to the merchant, so I go to the top here. Yep, let's go to the merchant, sell these things. Get the last upgrades that we want. Uh, give the druid more mana regen. 
give uh, make the fallen more indestructible, I guess. And let's have the alchemist cast even more often. And let's go on. I don't need to upgrade this to keystone more. Let's go. Right away, alchemist down. <laughs> alchemist down. Yep, the fallen is killing him. Fallen, stop, man. Fallen, no. Nice. Good thing that the druid kept the fallen full HP. Um, let's continue here. Event passive orb, as I said, juggernaut. Juggernaut's what I said, right? Although alchemist is giving buffs away, so no, let's give it to juggernaut. You know what? I don't care about the money anymore. Let's go to the top. I would like to get a passive orb here. Let's go. Burn him run aw right away. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I'm stupid, I just realized. Okay, for everybody who was frustrated with me for five minutes ago for that item that quote unquote did not work, <laughs> I just realized this does burn and the item was working from. No, this does bleed and the item was working from burn. Okay, I'm sorry, past people, everybody who is seeing this. <laughs> I was mistaken. We got very nice items here. We are getting a bunch of upgraded items. Let's go to the merchant. Passive orb. Alchemist. Uh, we can get the last upgrade here. Let's give it to the alchemist. Nope. Let's give it to... Does he even need this? I don't think he needed this. Let's give it to the alchemist. So we get some more damage here. And let's just go on. We can actually buy some potions. Which I never ever do. Poison right away. Silence. Let's get the poison. Let's go. We should not be losing any fight from here on out. Let's go. I don't see the Juggernaut getting blown up. I see the Juggernaut getting blown up. Come on, Druid. You can do it. Start casting. Nice. Skip. We got a Hugies. <laughs> we are getting crazy items here in the end. I don't care, let's go. Pew pew pew. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at him, still healing from the buffs that he got before. Very nice. The phone's crazy strong here. Increased bleed damage, yeah, skip. We got the Zephyrus even, but we don't care. Let's go on. Oh, I should have gave the Zephyrus to the Alchemist, maybe? Maybe. Uh, let's start with a stun. No, let's just start normally. You know what? I think this is dangerous to have everybody together, but I think the druid got this, so let's go. Let's stun the enemy for the beginning. Until we get some buffs up and everybody has negate. Until everybody has negate here. I think now we are golden. Look at him. 643 DPS. 730 DPS. 816 DPS. I will look at the DPS at the end. 1080 DPS. <laughs> and and it doesn't even take time to wind up. It just, it just goes off. <laughs> you start the run and boom, he's already at 1000. So, active orb. I think it's time for the alchemist. Let's make haste. Let's get the attack speed going. Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's get a stun in. No, I will. I first want the fallen to get attack speed, and then I will get the stun in. One more stun. And now they got silenced as well. And look at the fallen go. A thousand. Look at this. Look at this crazy thing. A thousand three hundred. And you know why this is happening? Because the Juggernaut gets damaged, and then the damage... Because the Fallen intercepts the damage, Helm of the Mad King is crazy on him. Helm of the Mad King might be the best DPS item for the Fallen. Because it works extremely fast on him, and he doesn't even lose HP. And it's protected, right? Whoa, ho, ho, this is like a free win now, right now. Let's go. This should be a free win. 
The second the Fallen starts getting some negates on him, because right now he doesn't have any. Yeah, everybody's getting negates here. Okay, we won. Let's give the boost. We are full HP. Best item for the Fallen, right here. Helm of the Mad King. By far, in my opinion. By far, best item for the Fallen. Look at this. We have a Scourges on a person with a 0.3 attack speed. Okay, and the Scourges did nothing. This is the Scourges, and this is the Helm of the Mad King. So, yeah, the Scourges was pretty much not needed. If we had if we had given him like this, it would have been a hundred times better. Why did I... I don't even know why I didn't give him this. Okay, my mistake. Everybody, please don't hate. Please don't hate. I should have given them this, this temple. Well, next time. Next time we find the Helm of the Mad King, we are using it even better. So, yeah. That went pretty well. I guess some frustration not cured due to me not giving him better item than the Scourges. But still, I wanted him to have the Scourges so that I can control every single fight. So I would maybe change it in the end. In the last fight I should have put the Zillas on him. But on the, the every other fight I think Scourges was a better choice. Because it silences, it poisons, it does everything. So it, will, it pretty much protects the whole team by CCing the enemies as much as possible. So yeah, there's that for the run today. Uh, shout out to the toppest of the toppest Patreon supporter, Barry Wallax. Um, if you would also like to support me on Patreon, there will be a link below. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we got a Discord. Come join. There will be a link below as well. And comment everything, anything that you would like to see over here. Uh, maybe a team comp that I that you would like me to try. I guess. Yeah, that's that. If you would like to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading daily two to three videos. So yeah, I might even start a new run. You might like a new game, I meant. Anyway, that's that for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.